Hey, hey, you know, we've shared with you that we like uh, eating, mm -hmm. uh, drinking, mm -hmm. traveling, and running. Mm -hmm. Well, today, we're going to share one of those passions with you. We are going to make two classic tiki cocktails. Ooh, Wait, uh, hang on. This isn't right. What? what? Hey, there it is. So, what are we making today? Okay, we're going to make a... Uh, our version of a Mai Tai, and also a drink called a Three Dots and a Dash. Well, all right, stick around. We're making those next. So this is a classic tiki drink. It's kind of the first thing we order when we go to a new tiki bar, just to see, you know, everybody does it a little different and we do it a little different too, but that's kind of how we gauge how, uh, how good the drinks are going to be for the rest of the night, um, how good this drink tastes. So if you have now envisioned, when we say Mai Tai, uh, some sort of fruity, juicy, uh, kind of pink or orange with a bunch of pineapples and stuff uh, coming out of it. That's actually not what a Mai Tai is. That's what it kind of morphed into in the 70s. That's not not the origins and that's not what this lovely drink is that we're going to be making. So uh, I will say this is our version of the Mai Tai. You won't find this recipe anywhere else. This is uh, something we've just kind of developed. So basically we're gonna have two kinds of rum. One of the uh, kind of main uh, Mai Tai recipes that you'll find out there calls for uh, Jamaican rum and Martinique rum. And we uh, have tried our best to find some Martinique rum and it's just not working out for us. So like we do with our recipes or with whatever, uh, whatever else we do, we're just kind of working with what we can get our hands on. And we have found that this combination is really, really nice. So um, not strictly speaking what it called for, but really, really good. So we're gonna start off with some ice and our little shaker. And this recipe will be uh, multiplied by two. So I'm making one for each of us. I'm okay, check this out, here we go. Oh God, it's drink day. Okay, so this side of a little measuring implement is two ounces, so we'll do two of these. Okay, and then one of these guys, and this rum is just so, so good. It tastes like vanilla, it smells like vanilla. It's just, it's like making this a dessert drink. It's crazy how good this tastes. So two ounces of that. All right. Next we're going to do about an ounce and a half of triple sec. Uh, I just kind of eyeball this. So not quite a little over half, not quite all the way to the top. Okay. Next we have uh, something called orjat. Orjat. Uh, you may hear this mispronounced as orjit or something along those lines. It's basically just almond syrup, but we have found a few we have found some that were really, really terrible, but we found a couple that we that we like quite a bit. So we're gonna do an ounce of that. And then the juice of one lime. So I'll go in and this is gonna be our Mai Tai. I'll hand it over to Davey, who's going to uh, shake it up. So, shaken vigorously. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to strain it into our glasses. The important part is alcohol likes to stick to ice cubes. So after you strain it, you use those ice cubes back in your glass because you don't want to miss any of the deliciousness. Well, that's a beautiful color for a classic Mai Tai. Okay, so garnish is an important part of presentation. Now, what we like to do, it's a little different. I take the limes that we used for our lime juice and I invert them. I've had sugar cubes soaking in lemon extract. So 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a sugar cube and put it in each line and have it float right on top of the drink. And we have some uh, pineapple fronds. I'm going to go ahead and drop them in there. And we just saved those the last time we got a pineapple. Oh, yeah. Chopped them off, put oh. them in the freezer. Yeah. Wash them, freeze them. And then the best part of the Mai Tai that we like And there you have it. The next drink we're gonna do is a three dots and a dash. So, starting with a cubed ice again. Um, and again, this recipe is times two because there are two of us. So we're gonna do four ounces of rum. Okay, four ounces of rum, and everything else here is in really small quantity, but it's uh, super flavorful. So they all add something really neat to the recipe. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is add the sugar, and this is for, um, this is mainly because this stuff is sticky, and I'm gonna have several more things go in this side of uh, the jigger, so I want to be able to like kind of rinse it out. So we are gonna go with an ounce of simple syrup, uh, which we made earlier today. It's just sugar and water cooked for a short, uh, short amount of time. Get that out of the way. Okay, we're gonna do an ounce of triple sec. An ounce of falernum. That was close. And a half an ounce of um, uh, allspice dram, and again, I just kind of eyeball this, so uh, it's probably about a half an ounce. Okay, we have the juice of a lime, and we're gonna throw some bitters in here as well. So, we're gonna do six total dashes of bitters. Okay, that's ready for the shaking. Millie approved. All right, have it nice and chill, all shaken up. Again, I'm gonna strain it into our tiki mugs. Uh, we mentioned that we're a couple of dorks, right? Did we mention that? I don't think we have to mention it. Yeah. Oh, we actually haven't talked about this. Let me huh. get your shirt. Some Star Wars tiki shirts and dresses that we're wearing. Okay. So I'm gonna strain into our tiki glasses. And then there's a special garnish and a story behind it for the three dots in a dash. Now the creator of the three dots in a dash is Don Beachcomber. And he developed it as a way of celebrating the troops coming home. What he did was he took the Morse code symbol for the letter V for victory, which is three dots. And we're gonna use another pineapple frown as a dash. So there's our three dots and a dash. So there you have it, two of our favorite cocktails, tweaked a bit, because we tweak things, mm -hmm. the classic Tiki Mai Tai, That's good. and the classic Tiki Three Dots and a Dash. A little background on these. The Tiki really kind of started uh, in the 30s by somebody named Don Beachcomber. Don the Beachcomber was an avid storyteller, and really what he provided was not only these marvelous drinks, mm -hmm. but he also provided escape. escape. Mm -hmm. So it was the 30s, the depression, people couldn't afford to travel, yeah. but Don the Beachcomber uh, brought this, you know, sense of whimsy and yeah. wonder and, and escape to an exotic faraway place that, you know, 
based on that situation and that time, you would probably never see. Yeah, right. Uh, and then comes along Trader Vic, another storyteller. Uh, now the deal is, uh, nobody really knows for sure who invented the Mai Tai first. There's a Trader Vic recipe, and there's a Don the Beachcomber recipe, and then of course, you saw us make ours. But, in true Tiki fashion, these things are delicious. Some of the ingredients are really hard to come by, but if you can find them, uh, we, man, it's, they're, it's really, nice. yeah, they're it's really, really nice. They're really nice. One more time. Cheers. 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 Uh, if you like this video, like it. We really hope that you subscribe. We have plenty more coming. Uh, we love to eat. We love to drink. We love to travel. And we love to run. But no matter what we do, it's always an adventure with you.